Good afternoon, everybody. It's Diana with StampingWithDie.com. And if you are new here, I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Santan Valley, Arizona. And I pop on here um, in Facebook twice a week live and on YouTube twice a week live. And with an odd, uh, I do the little quick, quick videos. I don't know if any of you have ever seen those. They are just basically... Um, the regular videos, I've just kind of edited them and made them go faster to music. And I usually try to have those go on Saturday. Um, I started doing those initially for Instagram. And, and they're just fun. And I, and I found some free music to put to them. So it's always, always, um, always um, fun. <laughs> you get toe tapping to the music. But, um, so we are crossing our fingers. I did pop in. I have a private group with my family. Um, my mom and my sisters are in there. And so I was doing some stuff over in that group as I was testing things. And it allowed me to flip. So I have my fingers crossed that it's going to um, let me flip. Now what I mean by flip is I'm basically moving my phone and I'm changing it from the front camera to the rear camera. Um, so I don't have to really mess with my phone a whole lot. I was afraid I was going to have to start really flipping the phone. But, um, so we're just gonna cross our fingers. I have this cutest card, oh my gosh. This is my sorry, not sorry card. Because you are going to wanna get everything that I'm using to make it because it just, you know how sometimes you make those cards and you're just like, oh my gosh, did I make that? And that's what this card is because I'm just looking at it and I'm just like it makes my it just makes me so happy so I hope it is the same way when you see it too hey Debbie hey Janie oh um okay so let me fingers crossed everybody you got your fingers crossed my eyes are crossed my toes are crossed let's let's um hope all goes well all right oh thank you Facebook all right, so we were able to flip the camera. That was, I don't really, I don't know what it was, if it was a bug on, um, like if, if Facebook updated or whatever, but I did, like I told you last week, I did um, take it off my phone and put it back on my phone, but it still didn't work, so I don't know. I just like, thank you, Facebook, thank you. Maybe they were getting, um, their ears were burning with all my like, getting so mad about them. So hey, Debbie. All right, so I have, 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 have this cutest little card to show you. All right, before I show you the card, I always have to show you the host code. If you are placing an order in June, please use this host code. Um, unless you are in a stamp club, then you have your own code. Um, or if you're ordering over 150 before tax and shipping, then don't use the code so you'll get your hostess benefits. When you are ordering $75 or more, you actually will get this month's ink incentive. And it's super, super cute. It is this ribbon right here. I had a spool and then I was using it. This is actually the ribbon. It's this beautiful evergreen chevron ribbon. So that you will get a spool of that with your June thank you card when you get that in July. So I always have an ink incentive every month. Also, the mini catalog will be coming very soon. So it will be, um, it says July here, but it's actually pushed out a month. So it will start in August. So the customer selector is going on right now, which basically means I go in there and I select the people on my mailing list, customer list, that I want Stampin' Up! to send the catalog to. So if you have not ordered from me within the last six months, you're gonna to wanna to place an order so that you will get um, your mini catalog in the mail. If you have not, then I don't, your, your name doesn't pull up in the system because I just look the last six months, okay? Because I figure if you've not placed an order within six months, you're either not stamping or you're ordering from another demonstrator and then you wanna get your catalogs from them, okay? All right, so let's see. What are we using today, you ask? Oh my gosh. Okay, so these are the most cutest. I don't know, like, I, I probably say that all the time. <laughs> I am so excited, I'm joking. Oh, calm down, Diana, it's just a card. All right, 
So these are the hand pinned memories and more cards and envelopes. I'm not a big memories and more person. I don't scrapbook, but the last couple catalogs, the memories and more cards and envelopes have been amazing. And these ones are probably the best yet. So I got a pack of these. You get 20 in a thing. So you have like 20 cards and 20 envelopes. They are just amazing. So let me show you. So here's one of the cards. And then the envelopes. Let me show you the envelope. I have my stack of stuff that I'm going to use today. And here are the envelopes. Look how beautiful. And it's got that little um, decorative edge. So... And if you are on my team and you asked for the card guts, hint, hint, you're going to be getting some of this paper. All right. So that's all I'm going to say on that little hint, hint. <laughs> okay. So I'm using a card and then, of course, the envelope. Now, what I'm also using is there is this super, super cute stamp set called Count On Me. And it is so stinking cute. I mean, there's a penguin, there's a, I think this is called a kiwi, but I'm not really sure. It looks like a kiwi with the, with the beak, but I think it's called a kiwi. Now I'm not even sure. And the little, um, um, oh my gosh, koala bears, the little bear, the fox, my maiden name is Fox, so I'm a little partial to that one. And a cute little kangaroo. And of course some grass. And it's got some cute little uh, sayings that are with it. So I'm going to be using that set. I'm also using, where's my stack? I'm also using a couple dies. All right, so I'm going to be using the basic borders. Get this on your wish list already. And I'm going to be using this one. Okay, so I'm going to use that one. Then I'm going to also be using Give It a Whirl. And I'm just using the cloud shapes for the Give It a Whirl. All right, so that's what I'm using. Let me get this. I just am never sure where to set it so it's not falling on the floor. Okay, so we have our card. So what I've done is we are using the cute little penguin. So ahead of time, I stamped the little penguin onto some basic white, and this is just the regular basic white. Um, I find that I prefer it over the thick. When we had the um, whisper white, I always gravitated to the thick for the um, coloring, but now, with the new um, basic white, I like the regular for coloring. It's a little smoother. And then I'm just saving my basic white thick for the card bases. So that's just, you know, what, what I've been using. Everyone has their own tastes. Okay, so then I cut these little guys apart because I'm gonna color them, obviously, with the blends. All right, so let me get my blends over here. You love to see me so happy. Oh my gosh, Debbie, it doesn't take much, does it? All right, let's see here. But I'm so glad that Facebook is behaving for me today. Hey, Rhonda, hey, Jackie. I'm trying to see, Um, hang on a minute. Oh, 10 comments, hold on, let me see. So maybe this is what Marcy was talking about because I don't see the comments. I do see them on my phone, but I'm not gonna touch the phone. So I remember Marcy was saying she wasn't able to see her comments. So I'm just <clears throat> looking on my phone. If I have missed your comment, if you ask a question, make sure you repeat it because when I go up to 10 comments, all I see is Debbie. I don't see any other ones except my phone. Okay, so um, I'll just keep trying to look. All right. So I'm using the light basic black. It is pretty dark. So I don't use the dark one too often. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my little penguin around his little beak area and around here. 
This little penguin is so cute. Oh my gosh. We have puffins and we have penguins. I love when we have critter sets. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my dark smoky slate. So when you use these two together, it just gives you like a dark. So I used a light basic black blends and then the dark smoky slate. And I'm just coloring my penguin in. And he's super quick to color. And he's so adorable. Go around. All right, around his little head. So it's supposed to be hot. Oh my gosh, it's pretty warm in Arizona. I don't go out tons because I'm a stamper, not a road worker, so I don't have to go outside. But it's going to be, I think Jeff said next week, it's going to be like 116. I mean, that is just craziness. So. Is Stampin' Up! selling the labels now? Oh, no, no, these, I put it in, I believe I put it in the group here, in a file. And no, this is just a piece of, um, it's just a piece, hang on a minute, who did I get these from? See, it's like this. She is Stamp with Sarah, oh, here it is. Can you see that? Stamp with Sarah dot C-O dot uk so if you go there and see what it is it's just and i just um printed it on the um basic white thick and then i just punched punched them out and then i just used a, a glue dot and put it on um so i have it on each end so it doesn't matter which way i put it in the thing i can see so much easier but um so yeah so hopefully you could see that. Okay. Um, that would be cool if Stampin' Up! sold the labels, but that's where I got them from. I had made some before, but they weren't as fancy as Sarah's. So I just pulled the ones I had off and put the ones that she did. Because they were a lot better. Because they had the full word. All right. Now this is dark. You are so welcome, Rhonda. Okay, so whoop, I forgot this foot. Look at that. All right, so this is dark pumpkin pie. And you know me with my critters. I always have to give them a, a um, little rosy cheeks. So we're going to go light flirty flamingo on our little penguin cheeks. Couple little dots with the flirty flamingo. And I and I always laugh, I'm always like, dyes shorts initially started out as me going to do something quick, right? But that's not always the case. All right, what is this? Oh my gosh, did I grab the wrong one? Hang on a minute, what is this? Pale papaya, I don't want pale papaya. I want light petal pink. And I'm like walking all over, here it is. Light petal pink. All right, so now light, petal pink just to soften that flirty up a little bit and then it just gives the rest of the head a little bit of pale pink color so the little face is just a little bit different in color than the body and then the body I'm just taking the light gray granite and hang on a minute, I'm gonna refresh, refresh, and see if I can make the comments come up. Cause it doesn't mess with, okay. Okay, now I can see the comments. Okay, I just need to make sure. Hi Lily, okay, hang on a minute. Sorry, sorry people. And my sister and Anne, I just wanna make sure I didn't miss anybody. Um, oh, from New Zealand, okay. So that was where the kiwi's from. Hi, Debbie. All right. So now I can see, hopefully, as they scroll, I will be able to see more. Okay. I just need to not make the picture be 
big, I guess. I don't know. It's just... I swear. I swear. People are home, and now they like to mess things up. All right, so this is light gray granite. Let's go back to the card. Light gray granite. And I'm just going around the edge because this is white, but it still has some color. And then I go kind of like this little line, like right there, which kind of separates the legs a little bit. Okay, so then we have our cute. Let me show you. So see how it kind of just separated his little legs. It might not be as noticeable on the camera. And then we're gonna color our little balloons. So of course we have to have a red balloon. We have to have a red one. So we're gonna do a little bit of Smoky Slate, Poppy Parade, Dark Poppy Parade, and Light Poppy Parade. All right, so there's that one. Then, we're going to do a green uh, green balloon. So this is Granny Apple. So the light Granny Apple. And then the dark. So I was watching the my little baby quail. And I put some fruit up on this tray and it just kind of keeps the ground squirrels off of it but the the mom and the dad and the baby quail so the the, the mom and the dad quail all right so now a yellow bloom so this is dark daffodil they could see there was something up on that that tray so they were getting on the tree but they couldn't figure out how do we go from the tree to the tray they couldn't figure it out but when i looked at one time now this is dark so saffron the baby quail was up in the tree with the dad, like way high, like, like eight feet. And I'm like, you, whoops, I want to finish that. I'm all this, I'm so excited talking about my baby quail. Um, and I'm like, look at that baby up in the tree. And it flew down. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And we think it's a girl. We think it's a girl. All right. And then that is the dark papaya. Hey, Candy, you did make it in time. Okay, so there's my cute little penguins. So while I have my penguins out, I'm going to come over to my beautiful um, hand-pinned Memories and More card. And I'm going to put some penguins on here. So let me scoot up a little bit. All right, because sometimes when I re-watch, so if I miss any... Um, comments or whatever I'm like well I should have scooted up I was too close so all right so I'm just going to stamp some penguins on my card and you will never do the same card twice I don't think all right so we've got our little penguins on there Oh, and while I have my, um, oh, and picture this. I didn't mention picture this. Hold on a minute. That's where these came from. So see, this is a new die too, and it's called picture this. So it punches out like holes and then people um, can poke through. And I did this uh, a card with the puffins last week, I think it was. And I don't, I think I sent them all out. So I don't even have it to look at, but, um, and I used this one. So when I was punching these out, it leaves you with these little cute image or um, die cuts, and they have these fun little stitches on them. So I want to use one of those for my greeting. So I'm going to let that dry a little bit. My greeting comes from the sta same stamp set, and it says we can make it through anything if we do it together. Now, isn't that? The cutest little saying. All right, so I'm gonna get this here so I can hopefully stamp it straight. So we can make it through anything if we do it together. I love that little saying. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. All right. 
So let that dry. So we have all these things drying. All right, then I wanna get my grid sheet. Oh, uh, for Pete's sakes, in my, because, let me get a grid sheet. Because what I wanna do is I have cut ahead of time some clouds. So here's my cloud. That one comes from the, um, oh my gosh. That's the basic border. And then the smaller clouds come from the give it a whirl. But I don't wanna leave them just white. I want them to show. So just like the penguin's belly, even though his belly is white, white still has a color to it. So, so like you can see, so it's, it's kind of hard to see, but see right here, I have used a blending brush and I'm just putting a little bit of color on it. All right, Oop, look at this. I need to peel this off. Remember I showed you this the other day? All right, so see this one? I want this one right here. So this is just a color one. I'll peel it off and toss that. And I'm gonna put it right here. And then I know that that's gray granite when I have the pad open. And then I just toss this. It's just, just getting get in my way anyways. Okay, so we have a gray granite. And I'm just inking my brush up, scooting up just a little bit, rubbing a little bit off here. And then I just want my edges to be a little bit darker. Because I still want it to be white. I just want my edges to be kind of emphasized a little bit. So that one's already done. So I'm just going around just lightly. Doesn't take much because I don't want it to look like um, a cloudy day. I just want there to be a little bit of um, definition when the clouds overlap another cloud. And I love that these little clouds, they have stitches on them too. So it goes with both of those dyes. It goes with the picture this, cause it has little kind of like little stitches. And then the other one, the border one, it has stitches too. So I think everything should have stitches on it <laughs> because I love that country kind of country look. So this takes not tons of time, but just a little bit of time. All right, so some of them I did hit time. That one's done. Let's see, is that one done? I can't tell. That's how subtle it is. Just a little bit. All right. Aren't these the cutest little clouds though? Oh, and I did them with a little, I tried pool party and because of the card, color with all the polka dots and stuff it was too similar so that's why i chose to do the gray granite if you weren't using that cute little card then you could use the pool party but i want it was just too similar so all right so let's just set that aside and see if i did enough all right let's see here okay so now we're going to cut out our little penguins so let me get my penguins so i cut out a, a couple ahead of time so these little guys are cut out and this little guy is cut out all right so let me cut him out because they're super quick to cut out and once they're cut out you're going to want to go around them with the gray granite blend just to knock down any of that white edge that might be left from when you cut it out because no matter how close you get there's still going to be that edge of the cardstock that's white so now when I'm cutting out this he has this tiny little bit of hair above his head but I'm cutting that off because that's why I stamped them on the card because there's little hairs on the card, the strings on the card. So I don't have to worry about cu cutting out 
the skinny things because I'm going to stick these right over top. Then the string will be on the card and his hair will be on the card too. All right, almost. Aren't you glad I cut out two ahead of time? <laughs> All right, so hang on a minute. Foot and balloon. So see, then you just have to cut, cut the balloon out. You don't have to worry about the skinny string. I love doing that on cards. All right, cut, cut, cut. All right, then let's get this piece of paper a little smaller. Well, actually, I'm just gonna do it over here. All right, hang on a minute. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my, where's my gray granite, my light gray granite, and I'm just going to trace around my little images. And what that does is it's just gonna knock that white edge off it's just real subtle. So I'm just going around the edge. And it's just going to not have that white be as in your face. And you could do the um, light smoky slate works too. This one's just a little softer. But it just makes that white go away. All right. Then you don't have to be so intricate with your cuts as well. Okay, so I think I went around all of them, didn't I? All right. Now the fun part. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now the part why I was choking. Okay, so we have our cute little card. All right. So we have our card right here. Let me scoot up. Hang on a minute. Hang on. All right, so we're gonna put our little greeting down here and then I'm gonna use dimensionals. Now I'm gonna use a lot of dimensionals. This card has a lot of dimensionals going on. So you're going to need those on your order form as well. So you you need the memories and more cards. You need the stamp set. You need the dies. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. This is that sorry not sorry card. All right. <clears throat> All right. That looks pretty straight. Then we're going to take a cloud. And I want to put a cloud right here. So I'm going to take, where's the baby, 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 babies. Here they are. So the baby dimensionals. And we're going to put a baby dimensional here. And a baby dimensional here. And we're going to put our cloud here. All right. I want to close my card first. Now you know how usually I always say if you're gonna glue something over top, you would wanna color the underside so you don't see that. Well, you don't want to because we're not doing, we're using the card as it is. So nothing's going to be here. So if I were to color these little guys on here, it's gonna bleed through here. So this time we're not going to, we're just going to, um, not color them on here okay so because we're not coloring them on there i'm just going to put them on with glue dots so that they're pretty flush to the card they're not um going to pop off a card which then you would see that they're not colored in the back side because believe me there's going to be a lot of motion and popping with this card as it is all right, so here we have a little balloon. Balloon, who else does this? Who else builds their glue dots when they're doing multiple cards? Get all your stuff on the glue dots. And then you pull them off as you're doing it. So see, I have all these little things already on their glue dots. And then I just have to 
peel them off. So when I'm doing like Christmas cards, this whole thing will have like little things sticking out of it as I'm working on it. All right, let me get my, whatchamacallit. So we have, this is the paper poker picker upper doohickey. So you have like two, you have like a flat spatula. So if you're making like baby cookies, that's how you lift the little baby cookies off. Or you have this poker in your eye one. So I want the poker in your eye one. All right, so I'm gonna pick up that little balloon and lay it on there. Now I'm only kidding, seriously though. You don't poke anybody in the eye. All right. So then, so I'm just basically laying all of these little pieces on my card. I'll hold him with my fingers. He's a little bit bigger. And this little guy, he went flying off of there. So see this way, his little hair is on the card. His little bitty hair is on this card. The string is on the card. Didn't have to cut that out. And then we have our little balloons on the card. All right. Now, I'm so excited. Okay, please hold your horses and don't get so excited. All right. So now I'm going to do, I'm going to put this on here. So I like that about there. Now I am just going to put this on with with um, adhesive. So I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive up here to hold that in place because I'm just going to trim it. So I just did this ahead of time. So you can make it as thick as you want. It's really up to you. All right, so then I'm going to turn this and then I'm just going to trim this down so that it matches the card. Easy peasy. All you do is follow that card edge. This way you don't have to be worrying like, oh, it's too thin or you cut it too thick or whatever. Because everyone's going to be a little different depending on where you put your penguins. Okay, now we're going to start building our card. So I'm going to put, let's see, I'm going to put a little... Cloud there. So now we're just putting our clouds around. I'm going to put a cloud here. And you probably won't be able to make an identical card if you try. Because even this one looks different than the one that I'm looking at that I made before. Let's see. We're going to put... So I'm just building my card up. And we can always add more dimensionals after. Let's see. So you just kind of like lay them around. Let's see. I want to put one up here. And we can always stick dimensionals under if I miss an area. So I don't want to co cover this totally because I still want to be able to see it. All right. Now we're also going to put some clouds down here because these little guys are way up in the sky. And I couldn't decide is this, if this was snow because this could be snow, right? Because they are penguins. Or if it was rain or whatever. But it doesn't really matter. Okay, well, so let's see here. And I'm going to put one underneath here. So I'll just put my dimensionals. And then I'm just going to stick that up underneath there. Like that. Let's see, how many clouds is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven 
cool. So that's an uneven number. That's good. And then I just kind of look at it and I go, do I like that? Do I want, you know, one up here? They're just too fun. It's just so much fun. All right, so hang on. I'll put one up here. You have all these different shapes. I think that's good. All right. So look how stinking cute. All right. So now what I'm going to do is hold on a minute. Let me scoot up a little bit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to now this one I'm going to leave. I believe when I get the when I get the um, envelope. So the envelopes are a little bit bigger. So when I lay this on here, now I'm going to trim these other ones, but when I put this in here, I believe this one is enough, but I will see when I stick it in the envelope. All right. So hold on a second. Are you not peeing your pants? Are you not saying, sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Let's see. Cut all those little things. This is that. Sorry that you now need all of these dies. Okay, so hang on a minute. Let me see if that fits in there. Let's see if it does. Sorry, not sorry. All right, so let's see. Oh, it does, so see? That one does. So I can leave this cloud. So this cloud will stick out. So see that? But isn't that so stinking cute? All right, so now let me get all these pieces everywhere. Oh my gosh. I have like clouds and dimensional backings, my whole, and then this work area is like a big mouse pad. So everything sticks to it. All right, but look how stinking cute. So here's the one I was looking at. So I always have to show you the card I was looking at. So here's the original one. You can see that. So you can see that it's the same card, but they look different based on, you know, where you put your little penguins at, where you put your clouds. But, oh my gosh, I just love this card. So, and then how sad is it really that when you make a card and you love it so much yourself? <laughs> <laughs> but oh oh my gosh I just love this card I just love it I love it I love it I love it so it's just one of those cards okay like and you don't ever want to say oh my gosh that card we I used to always go that could be like a botan card or you know we would say something weird like that um but it's, you know, I'm just looking at it and go, I can't believe I made that. You know, even though I've been a devastator for <laughs> 22 years, sometimes I will look at things and I'll go, I made that. And I don't want you to think that too when you make things. And Rhonda, oh my gosh, where is that card? Where's your card? Oh my gosh. Rhonda sent me the cutest card. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Look at this card that Rhonda sent me. Look at. Oh my gosh, Rhonda. This card is so cute. I just love it. Thank you. Um, so anyways, so back to my cute card. <laughs> um, it just turned out so adorable. And these, I'm going to make more, right? Because this card, even though there's like a lots of steps, it's one of those cards that, you know, like you have the TV going or you have the radio on. You just kind of, you want to do something that you don't have to think a lot about. This is a good card for that because you can sit there, have the TV on or the radio, and zip through all, all your clouds, and then you just have a stack of clouds. Same with your penguins. You know, you've got your penguins, you color them, you can have the TV on. 
you know, you don't, once you get that one done, and then you just sit, and it's like a puzzle when you put it together. And whoever gets it will be like, oh my gosh, did you make that card? And they will keep it forever. I think it, I think it's going to be a keep forever card. I know, um, I'm definitely keeping one of them forever. The other ones, they'll just go in the mail and make somebody happy when they get it. That's all I'm going to say about that. All right, so we will say, um, so see, yeah, like when you're watching TV, you know, binge watch something. And you don't have to think about it. You can sit at the table and crank, crank, crank. All right, so I'm going to stop blabbing. I hope you enjoyed that card as much as I did bringing it to you. I just see them when I just go, mm, my little penguins. They're almost as cute as my little baby quail. All right, so have a great weekend, everyone. I will see you Monday for my Mimeograph Monday. And I have a couple requests, so I have to figure out um, which one I'm going to do this week. And that will be 11 o'clock Monday, um, and that is in my YouTube channel. So if you're not a member or you don't get my YouTube channel um, notifications, make sure that um, you subscribe to my channel and then click the little bell and it will let you know. And uh, that's all for me. Thanks so much for joining me and I really appreciate you being here. All right, have a good weekend. Bye for now.